The jury is still out on the long-term effects of e-cigarettes on the public's health, but with more than 2 million users, they are increasingly being used as a smoking cessation aid. So how effective are e-cigarettes as a harm reduction tool? Julie MacDonald reports. Kay Bronston was by her own admission a smoker for life. She rolled her own cigarettes daily for decades, smoking up to 30 of them every single day. A diagnosis of chronic obstructive pulmonary lung disease forced her to rethink her habit. According to my GP, I have the lungs of a 95-year-old. In the evening, I could chain smoke. With, with alcohol, for example, and now it's gradually diminishing. She's now able to get through the day with a couple of draws on her e-cigarette. Being able to use something that mimics smoking so closely has helped Kay to finally kick her habit. It's brilliant because it replicates smoking, so you feel you get a hit in the same way, and uh, so it's been the best thing I've done. And now I don't need it so much. You can cut down on the nicotine level as well. Kay also had the help of a qualified stop smoking advisor who's trained in how to help people change their behaviour. Getting the support that is available plus medication, those things are key in, uh, in being successful at stopping smoking. There's no magic combination of medication, it's more to do with what suits that specific individual. Electronic cigarettes give, the, give smokers something that nicotine replacement therapy can't give at the moment. Uh, electronic cigarettes actually, to a certain extent, replicate the nearest amount to a normal cigarette. Electronic cigarettes give the patients option to, um, to change strength of nicotine as well so they, they can be tailored to suit that individual smoker. There are now many more ways for people to stop smoking. From gum to nicotine patches and even Champix, a drug which stops the addictive effect of nicotine. Hi David, Hello, hi, how are, how are you? And David, a smoker for 18 years who came to this London clinic for help, believes the approach used here to tackle his addiction using lots of complementary strategies like medication, e-cigs and therapy is what's keeping him on course to give up completely. I think it's three way from what I'm from what I've gathered. There's there's Champix, which decrease you know, diminish your craving, but you still have cravings every now and then, so you puff onto the into the e-cigarette and that helps. And then there's the weekly thing, which is, you know, like sharing experiences during the week and all, which really help. E-cigarettes are transforming people's ability to quit smoking and Hazel Cheeseman from Ash Action on Smoking and Health told me why they're proving to be such a useful tool. So one of the reasons why electronic cigarettes have been uh, important at a kind of population level is because they've got many more thousands of smokers to try using alternative sources of nicotine while they're trying to quit. And we know that that's really important in helping people to quit smoking. So there's both an appeal element, you know, the fact that the products are appealing is important, and then also potentially, although we need more research, uh, an important behavioural component in helping people quit. Dr Nigel Carter from the Royal Society for Public Health believes Kay and David are just two of the many thousands of people who could benefit from this multifaceted approach to stopping smoking. It isn't one size fits all. You can't say that either uh, a drug approach or a purely psychological approach or a nicotine replacement approach is going to fit everybody. It has to be tailored to the individual and their individual needs. Um, so a wide armamentarium really is what we need there. And I do think e cigs form part of that. Kay and David smoked for almost half a century between them and they both agree that quitting without specialist help and support would have been much tougher.